It was 2005, and she was deeply in love with a cell phone. Not just any phone. This was the first phone to put email in our pockets. I was hooked on the physical keyboards, the trackpads, how fast I could respond to messages. I clung to my BlackBerry for as long as I could, but then... Something else swept her off her feet. And it wasn't a it's not you, it's me situation. This was 100% BlackBerry's fault. It let itself go and couldn't offer me half of what an Android phone or iPhone could. But if this were a real romantic comedy, this new BlackBerry Passport would be the struggling company's grand and crazy romantic gesture to win us devoted fans back. With a giant square touchscreen and a touch-sensitive keyboard, this BlackBerry doesn't look like previous Blackberries, but it still has the same purpose at heart. Though I warn you, this love story doesn't have a happy ending. What is that thing? Why is it shaped like this? I don't like it. It looks like a keyboard with a screen. I don't even know what it is. Yep, this thing does look crazy, and it's pretty much the only thing people notice about it. True to its namesake, the phone is the same shape as a U.S. passport. But the craziest part about the design is its American cheese-sized 4.5-inch square touchscreen. The width and the 1440 by 1440 resolution displays more text and Excel cells than the others. Okay, that might be helpful to some, but what would be even better is being able to actually hold this thing. Part of that awkwardness has to do with the three-row keyboard. The narrow panel makes the phone top-heavy when you type on it, and it means there isn't enough room for a shift key or even numbers. Those important keys pop up as software on the screen, which is really hard to get used to. While I used to be able to type nearly 60 words per minute on my bold, I can only type 45 on here. That said, the fact that the keyboard doubles as a trackpad really speeds things up. You can scroll through emails and pick predicted words with just a swipe. I can just swipe to the left from any screen to get to the universal inbox with all my emails and other messages. And I still find it to be the best mobile email client. But it's with all the other stuff that BlackBerry still feels years behind. The Maps app is slow and lacks points of interest. Plus, now even with two app stores, BlackBerry and Amazons, the apps I use every day, like Uber and Jawbone, are still missing. And there's no Instagram, despite the perfect square shape of the screen. Not that the passport takes very good photos, anyway. For that stuff, BlackBerry's actually okay with an open relationship. No, seriously, the company admits that it knows that BlackBerry users also carry an iPhone or an Android phone. But even if I did still carry two phones, I wouldn't pick the passport. The big awkward design and keyboard makes it hard to justify room for it in a pocket or bag, even if it is a long-lasting, great email machine. And so, the love story ended again. I moved on, and so has the rest of the world. We communicate in so many other ways beyond email. So I'll say it again. It's you. It's not me.